What is up everybody and welcome to FLW videos. We have some exciting news coming from Niantic with the recent announcement for Wizards Unite coming globally or at least to the United States as well as the United Kingdom on June 21st on Friday and then it will slowly roll out to other countries as well. So a lot of people may be wondering to themselves, how do I get started with Wizards Unite? Is it a lot like Pokemon Go? Am I gonna be somewhat familiar with it? We're gonna be going through everything that you're going to need to know to get started with it. And then of course, walking through some of the tutorials that we're gonna to have to do as well. I actually have the beta version and have already done this. So this will become familiar to you once you download the game and then of course go through this, making it so much easier and then of course picking up some information along the way. If you plan on playing Wizards Unite, definitely hit that subscribe button. We're gonna be covering all of the information as well as Pokemon Go. Uh, maybe in this case we can get rid of the Master Ball. We're focusing on Wizards Unite today, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. So first things first, we can start out with the incredible opening sequence. Definitely cool, takes you down to the starting position. Notice that our wizard is purple. This will play some factor once we end up picking the different team houses. So yes, keep that in mind. We will be covering that towards the end of the tutorial. I would highly recommend you to go ahead and read through all of these on your own once you download the game, just to get used to some of the jargon, some of the terms related to the game to help you get up to speed as possible. First things first, we are going to have to get ourselves a foundable. Foundable are things that are lost, that are missing, that we need to get back for us. So go ahead and click on the foundable. It will be the blue badge. In this case, you don't necessarily have to give camera permission. If you have played Pokemon Go, sometimes it actually plays better for you if you turn the AR off as opposed to having it on just because it's not gonna move around in case your AR is glitching and making it very difficult. Just simply turn it off and it will put it into a stagnant overworld. Just keep that in mind. But once you get that lined up, you are going to have to cast a spell. But there are two things that you need to know about casting spells. One is accuracy, but the second is speed. Speed is very important, so is accuracy, so make sure that you can get as close as possible as you can to get yourself the highest level because later on the foundables will be more difficult to catch and you will need a good spell cast to be able to unlock some of the harder ones. In this case, we go ahead and get ourselves the Hagrid. So once Hagrid ends up being freed, you're gonna notice that we're going to get some experience associated to it. And then finally, it's gonna put it into an area where we can see other foundables that we can do. By the way, check out this experience screen. That looks incredible. Definitely a huge fan of the style. Moving on to it, you're going to see now that we of course have it in the registry. So when we talk about this, you'll see that there are some other foundables that we have, but it's not gonna be just a one out of one, it's zero out of 15, and then you can scroll down and see a couple of more as well. But beyond that, let's focus a little bit more on some of our profile related things that we can go ahead and do. Once you confirm that you have the Hagrid, it will show up. But regardless of that, your ministry ID, you can change so many things in here. You can select the title, you can select the house, of course. And just know this, this is very important. These are not permanent decisions. You can change these at any point in time. You can go ahead and select Slytherin and then later on you can change your house if you want to. Go ahead and put in your name, put in your title. You can also go ahead and get your wand ready for this. At this point in time, it's not completely figured out exactly what your wand will do, but I would imagine that it would have some effect on the game, selecting the size, the different wood, of course, what it is made of. So I went ahead and did that. The last thing that we have is the professions. And as far as the professions are concerned, they will be unlocked at level six. So that is something that we will be covering in the next video. There are a total of three professions in Wizards Unite currently. That is the Auror, the magic zoologist and then finally the professor i'm going to be making a video talking about the three different roles that you can do the benefits the downfalls to them and then of course like the purpose to it because it's going to be a little complicated simply because it's new but you can bet that i will be covering it in depth and try to make it a way that is easy to explain but anyways i hope you did enjoy this definitely let me know in the comment section below if you plan on playing wizards unite I'm so curious to see how well this game is going to do. But anyways, I hope you did enjoy it, and I 
We'll see you next time. I wanted to extend a huge thank you to the supporters over at Patreon. You definitely make this possible, and I 100% appreciate this support. If you are interested in supporting my channel on Patreon, definitely feel free to check out the link in the description.